tighters, this is Marcy. So this is a quick kind of one-on-one on the power blocks, how you use them, and then once you see me explain the uh, versatility of it, the flexibility, and all the things that you can do with these weights, then you can determine if you want to go purchase them. Christmas is not over yet, and after Christmas sales, I hope that you guys can maybe find these on discount, or go to a store, see if you can work a deal, or even just pick up a pair of regular dumbbells, okay? Let's get started. All right, so kind of the first etiquette when you go to purchase a pair of these power blocks is one, what kind of model do you want? There's different models, and I bought the newest, which is called Your Thing, and that is pretty much the latest and greatest technology from the power block company. So that is what I chose to purchase first. Then you have to decide, okay, how many how many weights can I really lift? You know, you don't need to go buy, you know, their, their biggest set where you can add on a lot of weights. If you know that you can only lift maximum 30 pounds, then you can go on the website and pick the set of weights that will go up to 30 pounds. As, as I told you in my previous video, I know me, I can go to roughly 65, but for the purposes of my at home use and these workouts, I'm only gonna be able to go up to 50 roughly. So I decided to buy the U90 set one. So these can go from five pounds all the way up to 50 pounds. And I'm gonna show you how the increments work now. So it's really, really neat. Again, um, I'll start off kind of far away because you don't need to be close for this. <clears throat> this latch right here simply is how you adjust your weight. So it's on both of them. Again, you're obviously gonna need two of these dumbbells in order to, I feel, fully get a good workout in. And when you buy them, you'll get two. So that's not a problem. And let me just do a close up so you guys can really see the details of these weights. All right, tighters, here we go. Really, really quick, how do we use these power blocks that I bought? Okay, so this is simply the latch right here that you're gonna use to adjust your weights, okay? So these are gonna be used to adjust your weights. But first, the most important is this strip right here, which tells you how much weight you're actually lifting. So I'm going to um, do a close up right here so you guys can see. The first row is an empty handle. And I'll show you what that means in a, in a second. Empty handle, the second means you're simply adding 2.5 pounds, you have your increments there. And the last one, if you have both outer weights in, you're going to add an additional weight here. So let's open this up and push this over. And, and explain to you these weights right here. So these weights right here are each 2.5 pounds. And how you adjust that is using the top part right here that says closed, open, closed, okay? Closed, open, closed, and you're simply going to, um, let's put it down, we're going to put it to open, and guess what? I'll be able to slide these out just like this. So me holding this right here is only five pounds, okay? Five pounds, you can do your dumbbell curls, and then if you want to put one in and go ahead and lock it, close. Now you're dealing with 7.5 pounds. If you want to open it up again, put this in again, you're dealing with 10 pounds. So this is 10 pounds. And this is not a big bulky dumbbell that you might be used to seeing, you know, with some of the other weights. So here we go, 10 pounds, and it's easy with this. It's very stable. You can do push-ups on it and uh, different other different exercises as well. So from this, this is pretty much the single smallest set that you can work with. Then you're going to put this inside of this, just like this. So let me scoot it over and let's slide this in. Okay, now, now that you guys see that I put this inside of this with 10 pounds, we're dealing with the two outer weights at the bottom and it'll tell you. So two outer weights and it has and this color coded. So we have black, white, orange, green, and it can go up to 90, which is obviously, that means the U90 set, which is the expandable. So what that means is my, my weights stop at 50, which is blue. These weights over here can go up to 70, 80, and 90. That means these plates over here, there would be three more weights that I can do if I wanted to make it even heavier. But again, I don't need that, I only need to go to 50. Okay, but we're still dealing with the weights on the bottom, since I have both two outer weights of 2.5 pounds in this weight. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm simply going to clamp it in, just like this, to the black. Okay, and when you clamp it in, you need to make sure that it's fully in, okay, all the way to the other side, so that you can see that you just made this clamp all the way to the other side. So with the two outer weights in, if I pick this up now, this is only going to be 20 pounds right here. So as you see, the other weights are on the floor. I'm not gonna be lifting with them right now. I just have the 20 pounds. I put it back, 
I adjust it again. Let's go to the white. The white knees were now lifting 30 pounds. So as you see, the increments are going up by 10 pounds each time I lift this. So now we got 30 pounds. You lift it up, it takes the white with it. So you got the white, you got the black, the um, orange and green are still on the ground. You get the gist, you unlatch it, you go ahead and put it how you want it. You Now you have 40 pounds, you lift it up, 40 pounds, you got the orange, and the last one is obviously 50. Okay, so that's kind of how this works. Now, if I wanted to take this out, start from the base again, and let's take one of these out, okay? So one of these out, let's go ahead and open it, slide one of them out, close it, okay? So now, I'm dealing with the middle section right here. So the middle section right here means that I'm working with the 0.5s. So this in itself, 7.5, let's go ahead and slide it back in. Let's start with black this time. So let's say, you know what? I can lift a little bit more than 15 pounds. Let's go with the 17.5. That's what we just created. We just created 17.5 pounds just like this, okay? And it doesn't feel off balance by having it on the um, the outer weight on one side, it feels fine. So that's kind of the etiquette um, of these. These are outer weights, which is gonna make it heavier all the way around. If you don't want them, you'll simply work in increments of 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, or well, 45 for this. If you want a little bit more weights, you can work in terms of 0.5. So you'll be at 17.5, 27.5, 37.5, 47.5. If you use both of these, as I started, you're gonna go up in increments of 10, which might be easy. You're gonna start off with 10 pounds, then 20 pounds, 30, 40, 50 pounds, and that is how you're going to use this set, okay? All right, entire. so I've just put 20 pounds on each. So what that means is, it's a little quiz for you. 20 pounds on each, what does that mean? That means both of those silver outer weights are added in, and I've now put, put the latch on um, the black, which means it added on 10 pounds for me, and then again, 20 pounds, everyone might not be able to dumbbell curl 20 pounds. Don't feel bad, okay? You can also do, you know, our typical air squash, just like this, okay? Adding a little bit more weight. You're going to see your muscles get harder and more firm and more toned, okay? So don't feel all good if you can't, you know, lift 20 pounds. No big deal, all right? I can then simply take off the latch, and now I'm left up with only 10 pounds. Now I can do some arm work. You can do simple arm work, doing some lateral arm raises. This is how you're going to get very, very nice toned and strong shoulders, okay? So one of my, one of my uh, shoulder secrets, this exercise right here, which we will do in our workout. You can turn this side, you can do bent over rows, you can do triceps as well. Very, very cool, and as you see, they have little grips in here. It's, it's grippy, and uh, I think they're good. I'll, I'll obviously use them in my workouts if I go, go to them and I be like, man, these are getting on my nerves. You'll probably hear about it, or if they're great and I'm having a good time with them, you'll hear that too. So again, power blocks right here. All right, Hang Tiger, so hopefully that gave you a little bit of etiquette on the power blocks. I'm not an expert. I simply bought them like you will and tried to explain it to you. So as you saw, there's different increments that you can do based on those adder weights. Those adder weights make all the difference in the world in terms of the weight that you're adding on, okay? And so if it's too hard for you, just work in increments of 10. Keep them both in the entire time and you'll always have a pair of 10 pound, 20 pound, 30 pound, 40 pound, 50 pound dumbbells. So this is easy for you. Take one out, you're gonna be working in increments of 0.5. 17.5, you get the gist. If you wanna leave both of them out, that's gonna be the lightest variation for you. That's fine as well. You'll start off at five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You'll be working in increments of five. So hopefully that helps. Now you can make your decision. Do you wanna go buy them? Do you not wanna go buy them? Also, it's very important when you go to purchase, don't feel obligated to get what I got. I got the U90 that goes up to 50 pounds. If you don't need that, simply get some of the U, they have U70s out there that don't go up as high and their increments will be different.
Take your pick. Let me know what you think. If you have a pair and you've used them, leave comment, feedback. Let me know what you guys think about them. If you want to buy them or have additional questions, just ask me and I'll let you know what I've learned from them. And hopefully I can give you guys guidance. See you later. Bye. Marcy. So this is a quick kind of one-on-one on the power blocks, how you use them, and then once you see me explain the uh, versatility of it, the flexibility, and all the things that you can do with these weights, then you can determine if you want to go purchase them. Christmas is not over yet, and after Christmas sales, I hope that you guys can maybe find these on discount, or go to a store, see if you can work a deal, or even just pick up a pair of regular dumbbells, okay? Let's get started. All right, so kind of the first etiquette when you go to purchase a pair of these power blocks is one, what kind of model do you want? There's different models, and I bought the newest, which is called Urethane, and that is pretty much the latest and greatest technology from the power block company. So that is what I chose to purchase first. Then you have to decide, okay, how many how many weights can I really lift? You know, you don't need to go buy, you know, their, their biggest set where you can add on a lot of weights. If you know that you can only lift maximum 30 pounds, then you can go on the website.